what's up and today I'll be doing a multi battle with the guys I met on Amino and I am teammates with Josh and so let's get started um so I am battling the guy I battled last episode he is on the opposite team along with Michael and I am currently teamed with Josh who has a pretty solid lineup and while Michael and the um and Mars have a pretty solid lineup as well. Okay. So this is us, us all. And I'm starting off with my Roserade as usual to try and make everyone go to sleep. So I've sent out the three best guys that I own. Oh, so there are two shinies in the battle at the moment. Three. Three now. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll start with the usual, the sleep powder. And I will sleep powder crocodile because I don't think I can sleep powder um, that guy over there. I, I forgot his name. Oh, God. I feel embarrassed now. Um, so my rose raid will do the usual. And, oh, now it's a guaranteed hit. Because he's sending out Charizard. Okay, so I just used Sleep Powder on Charizard. That's the same Charizard as last video. Charizard has just been attacked. And Chestnut uses Leech Seed on Clops. So Clops was seeded and Clops uses Double Team. So, <clears throat> so the Leech Seed will slowly leech Clops. Which will help us in the long run. So I will also try to sleep powder Clops. Because if we get everyone asleep, it will be a bit of an easier job for our team. And according to the guys on Amino, Clops is pretty powerful. So, oh, I have a feeling that Josh is going to Mega Evolve the Gyarados. Which will be useful in turn. Okay, so we use sleep powder on Clops. And now Clops is asleep okay so we've set up pretty well now both pokemon are asleep which will make it a lot easier for us now everyone is asleep clops is being leeched to gyarados and everything's all right so now i will use giga drain on clops and hopefully that charizard does not wake up because i oh Yep, now we're going to, okay, so we're going to Giga Drain, um, the Ambipom, and Ambipom has been drained. Gyarados will now use Dragon Men's, upping its stats, which will be very useful, and Charizard just woke up, and he'll be using Flamethrower on me. Okay, so Roserade tanked the shot. And we restored a little bit of health, which is always nice. So, we will use a Giga Train on Jewel Hands and hopefully take it out. So, Jewel Hands uses Fake Out, which will in turn kill Roserade. Roserade is now gone. Rip Roserade, you served us well. And I like saying Rip because it shows that I cared, unlike any of all the other trainers who will be like, I don't give a shit whether my Pokemon dies or not because I'm they're just there for the kicks and giggles. But anyway, now we will send out Gliscor. He's been failing for the past two videos and hopefully he does a bit better this time because he hasn't done... Well, he hasn't contributed much. Oh, God. That go-go. Oh, shite. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to Earthquake and hopefully not destroy um Gyarados but since Gyarados is a flying type we should oh god he should be able to tank it so now Gyarados uses Earthquake oh Gyarados used Earthquake too oh yeah so now we will also use Earthquake which will take out or well, take about a little bit of health off of Gogo. And Gogurt uses Energy Ball against my Gliscor, which I can already tell. Oh, wow. That barely did anything. 
Last time must have been a critical hit. So what we're going to do now is we are going to fake out on that Go-Goat. Hopefully taking a bit of health off of it and whatever item he's holding. Because I have no idea on earth what item that Go-Goat is holding. Hope it might not be holding any item at all. So now he sends out a Metacham, which I think will Mega Evolve. So now I will use Knockoff against that Metacham. No, I'll use it against Go-Goat because Metacham is the least of our problems at the moment. Yep. So Mega Cham, it becomes a Mega Cham. I know. Um, oh, wow. I haven't seen one of those in quite a while since X and Y. I think, because X and Y was the last time I saw one of those guys. Oh, oh, and a lot of his health was just taken out. But he uses Ice Punch against Gliscor, which will knock him out. Gliscor is now down, and we have only one Pokemon left. And Gyarados is also down, and now we only have one po well, two Pokemon on each side. Well, we've got three Pokemon left. So, Gyarados is dead. We've got only Gardevoir left. And what we will do here is we will use a um, a Focus Blast on Go-Goat, hopefully taking him out. But since we've only got Gardevoir left, we will probably actually um, lose this battle because I have a feeling that we'll stuff it up. Wait, does Gardevoir attack everyone? Yes, it only attacks those two. That's good. Okay, so... This will be very helpful against the other guys. So Gardevoir will be Megad soon enough. And they've got four Pokemon left. And I have a sad feeling that we're going to lose. But we will never give up until the final moment. When everything goes to shit. So it's taking a while for the guys to respond. But they will eventually respond. So Gardevoir activates the mega powers that within it the mega powers of a funeral so Gardevoir just looks like she's visited a funeral and oh my god why did he do that he could have used that against my Gardevoir and killed oh wow okay so Gardevoir has taken out mega 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 cham and Medicham. same thing but different and go go and now they only have two Pokemon left. We are currently equal. Well, we're winning, actually. So he's just sent out his Clops. And since Gardevoir's Pixelate... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we should be able to one-shot both of these guys with um, Hyper Voice. Okay, so we're about to use Hyper Voice against Crocodile and Clops. And since Crocodile is a Dark type, it'll take more damage. Which will be useful. So now we use Hyper Voice it yet again. Taking out Crocodile. Crocodile's now down. I repeat, Crocodile is down. So Chestnut uses Leech Seed against Clops. And hopefully Clops doesn't... Wo oh god, Clops woke up. Oh god. Because during Amino, I think this guy is really trippy. Because he, ava he avoids everything. So what we're going to try to do is just take him out as quickly as possible. As swiftly as possible, I should have said. So we will use a Psy Shock against Klops, hopefully taking it out. So we use Psy Shock, but Klops avoided the attack and uses Willow Wisp against Gardevoir. Oh, God, no. I stuffed up again. Every single one of my videos is becoming really bad. I mean, seriously. Everything I do is wrong, according to everyone. But don't worry, I'm not angry. I, I think it's what makes me a bit individual, because I have no idea on Earth what I am doing. I'm like the original Pokemon players. I just randomly tap buttons until something cool happens. So Gardevoir actually succeeds on Psyshock. And we take out Clops. GG, guys. GG. We defeated Michael and Marcel, and thanks, Josh, for aiding me in this battle. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and also remember to like if you want to, and remember to smash that subscribe button, but you don't have to if you don't want to. See you guys next time, and for the second time this day, peace out.